You're very warm and cordial welcome to today's session. Today I want to deal with bhakti, the power of bhakti. And it's a discussion between Karl Kusundaji and Garuji Maharaj. Whenever these two are in alignment and they are speaking, we have a world of knowledge from which to draw. And the profundity of their discussion is amazing. But before we go into that, I want you to join in Ramayan Sumaran and then a special prayer to invite Sri Hanuman to be in our presence. Pray to go see our very long term of Bhagavan and King Jai. Shri Ram's Katha, 
as far as my knowledge permits me. Please come and be seated amongst us. Take the most glorious seat, my Lord. And let your divine energy radiate within this hall so that each and every one of us will be blessed by your divine presence. Prince of Lord, Bhavan Puta Maniki Jai. So my lesson is taken from the final chapter of Sri Ramakrishna's Uttar Khan. There are four ages. You know, you have Satya, Treta, Dwapar and Kalju. And whenever Sri Ram incarnates, Lord Shankara and Kav Basundaji, they always go to the city of Ayodhya to witness the childlike play of Prabhu Sri Ram. It is a special love that they have for that form, that bar group, that child form of the Lord. And there, Kav Basundaji, in the form of a crow, is jumping about and playing as Sri Ram is walking, and Sri Ram is eating, and whatever drops off from his whatever roti or whatever he's eating, Kaak Basundaji would go and pick up with his beak, and he would enjoy that taste coming from the divine. He takes a special pleasure in eating of the droplets of his food. And they were playing like that. And Sri Ram, he went on all fours, creeping, and Kaag Basundaji is moving around and he tries to catch Kaag Basundaji, to hold him. And as he stretched his hand, Kaag Basundaji rose to height. And he keep on flying. And Sri Ram's, as a baby child, his hands keep on growing. And when Kaag Basundaji looked back, the distance between himself and the hand of the Lord was just this width, two fingers width. And he kept on flying. He went to the highest heaven. And yet still, that was the distance. He was amazed. And he closed his eye. And as he closed his eye, and he reopened them, they were back on earth. And Sri Ram, looking at him, he is spellbound by the magnanimity of the divine. And what happened? He smiled again. And as he smiled again, as Sri Ram smiled again, Kaag Basundaji was invited into his body, through his mouth, and he went down into his stomach. And in his stomach, Kaag Basundaji is witnessing multitudinous universes. Just as Sri Krishna had given that special divine gift to Arjuna, where he saw Lord Krishna in his full magnanimity. He had that kind of vision. He saw multitudes of universes. He saw trees and mountains and rivers and things that he couldn't honorably behold. And he spent just one hour there in that stomach and he saw all these universes. He saw multitudes of uh, 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 the, the triune God, Brahma, Vishnu, and Mahis, multitudinous of them. But wherever he saw Sri Ram, he was always the same picture, nothing different. And Sri Ram smiled again, know that he has filled now with all that vision. He laughed again, and out came Kaag Basundaji. And when Kaag Basundaji came out, he was so astonished that he fell flat and he couldn't move. He was all absorbed in bhakti and devotion to Sri Ram. Sri Ram rested his hand upon him and lifted him. So profound was that divine touch that he, Kaan began to cry and he began to praise the divine. And Sri Ram, in his majesty, in his power, he begins, he addresses Kaag Basundi. What did he say? Tosi Das tells us in this book. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. 
be jnana. Jnana, jnana is knowledge. Vivek is the power of discernment, power of discrimination. Where you get into the integrity of things and you will be able to make decisions. I give you that power also. I give you all knowledge. I give you that power of discernment. I give you the power of dispassion. A true devotee, he lives in that dispassion. He is not passionate towards anything. He transcends all that. I give you Vigyan. Now there is a difference between Gyan and Vigyan. Gyan is just knowledge. Vigyan is discriminative knowledge. That power to discern the scriptures, to unravel the mystical teachings of the divine. Many read the scriptures, but you cannot unravel and get the depth of the teaching. When you have that Vigyan, that is that power to dissect and get the full message from these various scriptural texts. He says, Muni Duralab Gunaje Jagajan. Duralab means very difficult. He says that the numerous virtues that these saints and sages look for, it is very difficult to get. But today, you have it at your disposal. Ask, and it shall be given. He says, I today will have a sunset now. He says, today I will grant you all these. Have no doubt in your mind. I today will have a now. Have no doubt in your mind. I shall give you all this. Madhujyotyohi bhavaman mahi. He's saying here, ask whatever your soul desires. Look at the, look at the, the gifts he gets, ask for whatever he wants. It's like writing a blank check. The Lord has stamped it. You ask for whatever you want. If you are given that option, I want you to put yourself in God's position. And the Lord is speaking to you. And he gives you the option. Ask for whatever you want. Whatever your soul desires. And you know we want so many things. What will you ask for? Don't tell me. I want you to think of it. What would you ask for if you were given that permission? What did God ask for? We'll explore that. What God asked for? To see that sins in Joker. On hearing 
Sri Rama's words, Tulsi Das says, that Khan was overwhelmed with love. My Lord has given me all this. There's profound depth of love in his heart when he heard that. And Mana Anumana Karan Tabalage, he began to think deep within himself. What is he thinking? Prabhu Kahadena Sakal Sukhaksari. He said, My Lord, it is true, has promised me all kinds of blessings. He has given me all this. Ma Bhakti Apani Dena Nakari. But he has not offered me bhakti, faith in himself. He has not offered me that. Of everything that you can get, you can acquire in the world. You can get all these things. But bhakti is a special gift from the divine himself. The most difficult thing to get is bhakti. And you can get that only when there is total surrender to the feet of the divine. So God is saying, my Lord has given me everything, but he has not offered me the gift of bhakti in himself. That faith in himself. So he continues. He is analyzing what the Lord has said. If you are given certain, if you have bestowed certain gifts and so on, or certain privileges, always think before you sign. Kagosun is carrying apart this. The Lord has given you the most important thing he has not given. And he's thinking, what does he think? To see <laughs> Thus pondered, thinking like this, O King of Birds, I replied, 
and now Kaag replies to the request that the Lord made. What was that reply? To see that says. <laughs>
and more than that, on alloy devotion. And alloy is a mixture of metals, like say silver and some other gold or whatever. Unalloyed means no mixture, total, unreservedly devotion to your lotus feet. That is what I want. Pure devotion, pure as purity itself. That is what I ask for. He didn't ask for house, he didn't ask for land, he didn't ask for car, he didn't ask for anything. What would you have asked for? Given that, that position. This is what he asked for. He says, Sruti Purana Yoga. The Sruti are the Vedas. Purana for the Puranas. He says, those gifts that the Srutis and the Puranas talk about, which all the saints and sages go after, he said, that is the kind of devotion I want. The highest book of all times are the Sutis, the Vedas. And they speak of that type of devotion. It is that type of devotion that the Sutis and the Purana sanction, that is the kind of devotion that I want. That's what I'm asking for. He says, Jo ko jet jo gis muni prabhu prasad to prabhu. He said, my lord, that with the great ascetics they and the sages search after. That is what the great sages and sages go after. For that kind of gift. And not all of them get it. He says, prabhu prasad to 